class 27, week 6 for 6A. Good morning, kids. Today we are going to continue reading the second part of our book, Mighty Glaciers. Instructions. First, read and listen pages 9 to 11. Then, answer questionnaire 2. And finally, the glossary words. Let's go to start reading this part. How do glaciers move? Glaciers begin to move when they reach about 30 meters, 100 feet thick. That's about as high as a 12-story building. The glaciers become so heavy that gravity pulls them downhill. Gravity is a force that pulls things toward the center of the Earth. It makes objects fall and roll down slopes. The movement of a glacier is called flow. The heavy ice at the top of a glacier compresses the ice below it. Even above the snow line, ice melts when it is tightly compressed. The melted ice becomes slippery allowing the glacier to slide. Sometimes the top layers of ice move faster than the bottom layers. The ice cracks. A crack in a glacier, called a crevasse, can be hundreds of meters deep. A hiker stands near a deep crevasse. Continental glaciers form in the middle of continents. They flow toward the coasts. Valley glaciers flow down mountains. A fast glacier can flow 20 meters, 70 feet in one day. But that is very unusual. Most glaciers travel only a few centimeters, less than one inch, to 30 centimeters, one feet a day. Continental glaciers flow toward the coasts. Valley glaciers flow downhill. Now let's go to check the questionnaire. When do glaciers begin to move? What do gravity produce on them? Explain what gravity is. What name does the movement of a glacier receive? What does heavy ice do at the top of a glacier? How does the melted ice become? If a top layer moves faster, what happens to the ice? What is the name of a crack? in a glacier? Where is the crevasse? Where do continental glaciers form? Where do they flow? Where do valley glaciers flow? How fast does a glacier flow? What is the most common flowing of glaciers? Now, let's go to check the glossary words. Gravity. Slope. Slippery. Crevasse. Liar. Downhill. Work to do. First, copy questions in your notebook with your answers. Then, Look up the glossary meanings. During our video class, we will check the answers of each of your questionnaire as well as the glossary meanings. Thanks for your attention and see you the next class. Bye.